Let's talk about how you start your asylum claim. You may claim asylum when you first arrive in the United Kingdom, at the airport or at the port of uh, arrival. But most people don't. And if you're watching this video, you probably are already in the United Kingdom. If you're already here, then to start your asylum claim, in most cases, you're gonna to have to make an appointment to go to the Home Office in Croydon. There are special arrangements if people have been detained or if they're destitute and it's urgent, but otherwise it will be an appointment for what's called a screening interview. Now, screening just means that they work out who you are, where you're from, how you got here, and they'll take your fingerprints. They'll take any ID documents that you've got to prove your identity and take a photograph of you. And they'll also ask you to say in very basic terms why you're claiming asylum. So that is the first point at which you'll have to say to the Home Office that you're claiming on the basis of your sexual orientation or your gender identity. Now we know from lots of people that they find that really worrying. Uh, talking to an official about your sexual orientation or gender identity, very often when you've kept it hidden for many years in your own country, is difficult. But if you can, you do need to say it at that earliest opportunity. It is your right to claim asylum on the basis of your sexual orientation or gender identity, if that's a problem for you in your own country. The Home Office have training for their staff on how to deal with those asylum claims and they have policies about it. You're not the first asylum seeker to claim on the basis of your sexual orientation or your gender identity, and you won't be the only one. Everything that you tell the Home Office in your asylum case must be kept confidential by them. And when they interview you about your case, it must be in private so you won't be overheard by other asylum seekers talking about your gender identity or your sexual orientation. If you've already had your screening interview and you haven't told them that you want to claim on the basis of your sexual orientation or gender identity, don't panic. You can tell them later. And so long as you explain why you couldn't tell them at that earliest opportunity, they should understand that. When you claim asylum, there is a risk of being detained by the Home Office. But that risk is small. Most people are not detained. But it's best if you're prepared for the possibility, and particularly that you have with you telephone numbers of your lawyer if you have one, and friends that you'd want to contact so that you're able to deal with that situation. If you are detained, you still get to make your asylum claim. It doesn't mean that you're being removed. It doesn't mean that your asylum claim will be refused. If you're not detained, it is very likely that the Home Office will ask you to report to one of their offices on a regular basis to keep in touch with them. And at this stage, if you need it, you can apply for asylum support and accommodation if you can't provide those things for yourselves.